Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, a couple of weeks ago Rockstar Games released a brand new Drug Wars DLC and of course the majority of the content included with this DLC, Rockstar Games plan on drip feeding through the coming weeks and months. So whilst we have received quite a few new missions, new vehicles, a new property, the majority of the best content with this DLC is yet to be released. And in case you guys have missed my previous videos, I've already made a video covering the brand new 50 card garage which Rockstar Games plan on releasing very soon, as well as the downtown cab company business which will allow us to become a taxi driver. So if I do remember, I will leave a link to both of those videos down low in the description. However, if you guys are regular viewers on my channel, then you will know a few weeks ago I actually showed you guys how you could unlock the brand new weapons included with this DLC early. And they included the WM29 pistol along with the candy cane. Now, I did mention in that video that there was a third brand new weapon that Rockstar Games plan on releasing into GTA 5 very soon in the form of a railgun. And in order to unlock this brand new railgun for our online character, we'll have to come across the gun van in free roam, which once again will be a brand new upcoming event. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at this gun van. I'm going to be showing you guys gameplay and fully explaining how this event works. So when Rockstar Games go ahead and release it, you guys are fully clued up and you know exactly what to do. I'm also going to be quickly talking about some more leaks to do with GTA 5 Online and what we can expect to see Rockstar Games added in the future, as well as an awesome way that all of you guys can stack millions very, very easily as of right now. So as always, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video and you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, the majority of the best content to do with the Drug Wars DLC is yet to be released and thanks to some of the most incredible data miners in the GTA 5 community, we have a much better idea of what we can expect to see and when we can expect to see it. So like I did mention in the intro, we have received two out of three of the brand new weapons in the form of the candy cane along with the WM29 pistol. So of course the candy cane can be unlocked by just simply logging in at any point now up until January 11th as this was a Christmas gift. And the other new weapon, the WM29 pistol, could be unlocked by coming across a random bank shootout on top of a roof. Now, if you guys are actually having trouble spawning this WM29 event, it's actually known as the Weasel Plaza shootout. It will only activate after 20 minutes from being in this session. So you must spend at least 20 minutes in your session. Now, you must be within 400 meters of the Weasel Plaza building. So just hang around this building as you guys can see I'm doing on screen and between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. in game time you guys should see a little marker pop up on your GPS indicating that the plaza shooting has started so you guys can simply jump on any helicopter, a press or mark 2, make your way to the roof, simply kill this guy and you guys will be able to pick up the pistol. Now when I was trying to do this I had another friend in my session who was trying to auto get the pistol so he killed me in the process so if you guys are looking to spawn this event maybe just try it for one other player in a private session and if you guys don't have that many friends that do play gta 5 online and you are looking to unlock any items in the future whether you just need one other player in an invite only session feel free to go ahead and join my discord server which i will leave linked as a pinned comment down below I've got tons of active GTA 5 players on every single platform, so whether you guys are PlayStation, Xbox, or PC gamers, you'll all be able to come online straight away and find another player. However, of course, that is how you guys unlock two of the current new weapons that Rockstar Games have already released. The third one, Rockstar Games have yet to release, known as the Railgun. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, in order to actually unlock this Railgun, you're going to have to come across the Gun Van in a free roam session so as you guys can see by this gameplay right here it should show up basically like a new emblem or a new logo of a van randomly plotted or parked up in free roam simply go ahead make your way up to the van and as you guys can see on screen there will be just this weird little character sitting in the back of the van where you guys can go ahead and purchase a bunch of new weapons 
one being the brand new railgun so as you guys can see on screen as far as the customizations for the railgun there really isn't nothing all you guys can do is buy two rounds of ammo and change the tint and of course the price of the actual ray gun itself will set you guys back seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars and as you guys can see on screen there will be a bunch of different weapons to select from the other new item of course it isn't a new weapon but it is a new livery for the weapon or a new tint is this baseball bat as you guys can see on screen and of course it isn't only weapons we can buy we can also buy throwables as well as purchase body armor for our character now these gun vans won't be in the same location every single time as you guys can see by this gameplay on screen this time it's actually parked in a random car park location so it is going to be completely random every single day where you go ahead and find this gun van but it will be available to all players in every single free run session now thanks to wildbrick142 and fluffball we do have a bit more information about what else we can expect to see from this gun van and he went ahead and said this this DLC gave the crowbar a description and a price, so it's safe to say it will become purchasable at some point. As an alternative to picking it up for free, most likely exclusive from the gun van, because I didn't find a way to get it in ammunition or the agency. And then he does go ahead and shows a brand new image here of the crowbar, which we can go ahead and purchase from this new gun van. And as you guys can see on screen, it will set us back only $8,000. And the description does read, a heavy duty crowbar forged from high quality tempered steel for that extra leverage you need to get the job done. However, he went on to say the following, speaking of the gun van, it's basically a car showroom, but for guns. Rockstar can change up to 10 weapons and three throwables each week if they want to and even offer exclusive discounts not found at ammunition slash your agency. No room for FOMO this holiday season, but plenty of room for it after. To which Wildbrick142 followed up with this, and he actually confirmed this. He said, upon further research, looks like Rockstar can change all gun van slots to anything they want via weekly updates, such as the alien weapons removed from ammunition, Let's hope this won't mean limited time weapons only purchasable via the gun ban in the future. So there we go. That should give you guys a better idea of why Rockstar Games are introducing the gun ban into free roam. As I'm sure you guys are aware, Rockstar are fully aware now that players like to acquire rare items in GTA 5 Online. Whether these are clothing items or cars. And it looks like now we'll also be able to purchase exclusive weapons or rarer weapons that may be removed from the game from the gun van in the future. So I can definitely see Rockstar Games including exclusive liveries or weapons that you could only purchase from this gun van during a set period of time before it's removed forever. However, I am interested to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. What do you guys make of this brand new gun van event? And what would you guys like to see Rockstar Games include with it? And before I end the video, as I did mention in the intro, right now Rockstar Games are offering double money on all of the hangar cell missions, which Rockstar Games have already permanently doubled since the Drug Wars DLC. So they've probably seen a lot of players haven't been grinding out hangar work, and they thought they would add another double money on top of that promotion. So you guys can literally earn around $7 million per hangar sale this week. So if you guys do own a hangar and you are looking to make some very, very easy money in the background. As they will be ending this promotion come Friday. However, that is going to do it for me guys. And like I said at the start, if you guys are interested and all of the other leaks and upcoming content that we can expect to see in GTA 5 Online. I will leave the links to those videos down below in the description. And as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news. All I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks all for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.